Ten years ago, if you had searched for Robbinsville Township on a map of New Jersey, you wouldn't have found anything. And that's because the town formed just seven years ago, at around the same time when BAPS was looking to build a mandir in New Jersey. A strong first impression, mutual respect and affinity, and a shared passion for community service would go on to bring the two together. And the emerging relationship helped shape the culture and identity of a young township looking to pin itself onto the map of New Jersey in a larger than life way. Well, at the time, approximately eight years ago, the township was undergoing its own identity crisis. Um, we we're changing our name from Washington Township to Robbinsville. We we're changing our former government, um, and the town center was being built. So all these things were happening, and this was something else coming to town. We knew it was a good thing for the town. We just weren't sure how it would impact things. Um, and over the last seven, eight years, at least from my perspective, what I've seen is nothing but positive. It came right at a time um, in 2005 where we changed our name of our town. And by changing our name, we gave ourselves an identity. At the time, we were Washington Township. So once we changed our name to Robbinsville, it just seemed like, boom, we opened up to everything new. We changed from a farming town and to diversity, commercial, and then the temple was coming in. And it was just like everything was meant to be at that time. The idea of a mandir in this corner of Mercer County, New Jersey, naturally came with many unknowns. But BAPS's lasting first impression went a long way in building enduring credibility. Um, once they came and presented, I was absolutely in awe. Um, I thought it was an amazing um, organization to be able to put together such a presentation. It was a great addition to the township. Um, I figured that if the members of BPS were anything like the people that came before the planning board, it was a win-win for everyone. I have to say that uh, I don't think I ever sat through a meeting where uh, the other side was so well prepared and so versed and really you know, had their plan together and, uh, and it was easy, it was very, very easy to work with them. And in fact, a few of your members are now serving on our boards because they impressed us so much from the fact that they were so well organized and continue to impress us every day with the organization of the temple and you know, what they were able to do with volunteers it never ceases to amaze me. Some folks feared the change that a mandir may introduce to the township, but over time, Fear made way for curiosity, and as BAPS planted itself deeper into the community, curiosity made way for respect. People were just, they didn't know. Um, and I just really think it was the fear of the unknown. Um, now, you know, over the years, when people have seen the community involvement, um, whether it be uh, the walkathons, whether it be the events that have happened at the temple, uh, Hurricane Sandy, the blood drive, etc people now realize what an asset having this temple in our community has been, um, not just for the residents here, but for our businesses as well. Change is scary, you know, change always gets people concerned, but you know, resisting change is like holding your breath. Sooner or later you will die. So change is always gonna happen and you have to get people comfortable and understand that this will be a good thing and it will be part of our community. And you know, I think the temple has done a very, very good job of really ingratiating themselves into our community, being, becoming part of the community being willing to you know, be there for us when, you know, when we need them. Um, so it really has been a great you know, public-private relationship and a partnership and you know, I feel really good about it. And I think there was some trepidation in the beginning. Uh, you know, traffic was, was clearly a concern. Um, but I think people have now realized that you know, it's gonna work and you know, with the traffic light it works. And you know, this was one of the largest concrete pours in the state of New Jersey. And yet I didn't get one complaint about trucks or cement trucks or anything else. So, I think, I think that's been handled very, very well. For the past seven years, BAPS's commitment to its credo, the spirit of service, has helped cement the relationship between the town and BAPS. Um, the members of, your, um, of the temple became involved in our town. You come to our community day. You help with the U.S. robotics team which was very important because everyone's proud of their high school. Our uh, robotic team went on to get uh, national honors. We came out th uh, third in the country. You helped out with the football field lights, so you showed that you were giving into our town. 
first thing people said to me, they're not paying taxes. And I said, what they're giving back to the community is tenfold. You're involved in so much in our community, and that's important, and people are getting to see that. Because the volunteers from BAPS made sure to get involved in things in the community, whether it be the senior center or, or anything, that helped because people saw that they're real people, just like you and I. You know, they've become part of our community. I mean, you know, they may march in our St. Patrick's Day Parade. A good example recently is we had a blood drive in town and they were hoping that we could get somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 units. Uh, and we put the call out and you know, we also put a contest in place. And uh, the EPS won hands down with the amount of units. In fact, they alone brought in more units than the entire town of Hamilton did for a week's prior. And that's a town of 90,000 people. So Robinsville exceeded Hamilton by about 300%. And you know, when I, I came to give the EPS their award, they immediately said, no, who came in second? I said, well, that was actually Little League. And they said, good, donate to them. Um, so that's the kind of, you know, sort of response that we always get. When I call, it doesn't matter you know, what it is, big or small, and you know, they've been there for us. And, you know, Hurricane Sandy was sort of the big things, but they're there for us for the little things, too. We need them for just about anything. I, I always know I can count on them, and that's something that's really important for me. The Walkathon Charities was a good example of a community involvement. You gave checks this year to the Robbinsville Education Foundation and helped out our schools the American Cancer Society, and the Mercer County Boys and Girls Club. Well, BAPS Charities has been a great supporter of the schools over the past several years. It's not just today. Thank you for picking us to be a beneficiary of your walk. Um, it's a great sense of community. We can see it, and, and we're, we're really glad that you're in our community. Hurricane Sandy had a, a dramatic effect on the entire Northeast Coast. In my job assisting with the emergency management, um, several of the volunteers from BAPS approached the police department and uh, wanted to volunteer and they opened up the uh, BAPS uh, temple to uh, shelter residents. So we had a couple residents go uh, over there and they were taken care of. They had hot water, shower, food, uh, just basically a warm, uh, comfortable place to stay during the uh, event. During Hurricane Sandy, it was amazing to be able to have a partner like that that we could turn to and you know, could accommodate a, a tremendous amount of people. Um, and then literally the next day we had truckers in from Louisiana and you know you, you think about things that may happen and I can tell you that you know thinking that we'd be housing truckers from Louisiana at the, at the temple was something I don't think was anyone any of our radar screens but it happened and they were able to make it happen and it really you know helped a lot of people and those truckers were bringing fuel to North Jersey that you were running generators were running sewer treatment plants so it really really worked worked well and, and that's really what you know Robbinsville is all about and we want to be a community that helps one another. This is just a glimpse into BAPS's drive to serve the communities that they are part of. A number of other events are hosted inside the Mandir itself. One of our largest events is our annual health fair. We invite doctors from across various faculties to come and join us to provide services and support to those who are uninsured or underinsured. Every year, we host an annual toy drive. The members of BAPS bring these toys in we in turn donate them to the local fire department. We also have a Children's Health and Safety Day. During this event, the local fire and police will come and give guidance to children to make sure that they live healthy and active lives. Also, these children will engage in workshops in which they learn about healthy eating, bullying, and internet safety. Whether it's being reactive in times of need or proactive, in hosting and participating in events in the local community, BAPS has shown that Mandirs are not just houses of worship. They are built on the foundation of giving and are the embodiment of service. Together, Robbinsville and BAPS have created a blueprint for how a municipality and a religious organization can work together to create a better community that sits at the center of it all.